ethnic, it's not even discrimination, it's preference. I preferably don't want to talk to you niggas. The last days of DC's extended universe are finally upon us, but with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, there's a high chance this chapter of the DC saga will end with a bang and not a whimper. The highly anticipated sequel to DC's billion dollar baby is set to unveil its first trailer this week. This Thursday, I believe. And the studio is rolling out the red carpet in spectacular fashion. DC even dropped a trailer for the trailer of Aquaman 2. So it's safe to say they mean serious business. Oh, daddy oh. And though we won't get the full scope for a few more days, the Lost Kingdom teaser offers a glimpse at the spectacle to come. I said this before and I'll say it again. Aquaman is the most visually beautiful DC movie I've ever seen in my life. That includes Zack Snyder, that includes Marvel movies ever. James Wan was the fucking GOAT. DC has steadily shared images of Jason Momoa's title hero throughout production, but fans can finally see him in action in the Aquaman 2 teaser trailer. It also reveals the return of Aquaman's former adversaries. Patrick Wilson is back as Orm, uh, King of Atlantis, and Aquaman's resentful half-brother. Yahya Abdul-Mateen II also returns as Black Manta, the mercenary uh, turned tech whiz on the path of revenge and in the trailer you can see the lighthouse burning so i feel like in this movie black manta is going to kill aquaman's father and possibly even mother which is going to be super fucking dark that black manta will be uh back to raise hell with aquaman and the lost kingdom is no secret but the manner of his return might have been just highlighted in the new trailer orm is attacked by a massive tentacled mech in some sort of underground cavern. We don't see who's piloting this terrifying machinery, but it's not difficult to guess. In Aquaman, Manta and Orm were reluctant allies. They shared a common goal, destroying Aquaman by any means necessary. Orm even gifted Manta the technology that he used to create his, his iconic black suit. It wasn't quite enough to defeat Aquaman though, and Manta finds himself adrift in the ocean after his first battle with the hero. Manta is gunning for a rematch against Aquaman, and apparently everything he holds dear in the Lost Kingdom while Orm and Aquaman are exactly simpatico. They are brothers, and Manta's quest for revenge could, could result in Orm's capture in the sequel. Since Manta is teaming up with Dr. Stephen Shin Randall Park to locate Atlantis and murder Aquaman, it's possible this new, this new duo will start by interrogating Manta's closest connection to the underwater kingdom. More importantly, it, if it is Manta facing off with Orm in the trailer, we could be witnessing the dawn of Mecha Manta, a giant AI-powered robot that the villain uses to revive his late father in the comics. The AI is another gift that Manta receives from a famous DC antagonist. In the comics, it's Lex Luthor who creates the tech and the weaponized mech it resides in. While the robot we see in the teaser isn't nearly as advanced as the entity from the comics, it feels right in line with Manta's own penchant for tinkering. Manta needs all the resources he can get for his rematch against Aquaman. That includes the mysterious green tech sprinkled throughout the teaser, but it could also extend to new machinery and suits. He's not quite as Luthor's, he's not quite on the level as Lex Luthor, but another adventure could very well equip him with the expertise he needs to build his own aquatic mech. Hopefully Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom uh, actual trailer can offer a bit more insight, but it seems Black Manta is getting a few major upgrades either way. And one thing I'm really super excited about, again, the full trailers this Thursday, I'm gonna do a full trailer reaction and breakdown probably on a live stream. Uh, I just want to see more of this world. I want to see more of the visual style. I want to see more character beats with Aquaman and Black Manta. First of all, the Black Manta suit that, that Yaya wears is new 52 comic accurate, bro. Like it is mwah, chef's kiss. Everything about what James Wan is doing with this film is going to be on another level visually. And I know reports are coming out saying that it's the worst DC movie ever is this and that, blah, blah, blah. Which again, I don't believe any of those fucking reports because, you know, they said The Flash was the best thing fucking since Dark Knight. And even though I like The Flash a lot, quite a bit, actually, I, I just saw it night, last night with, with my girl and she liked it too. Um, it's nowhere near fucking Dark Knight. Like, <laughs> like I, I see some people on Twitter saying that The Flash is like the greatest DC. Like, come on, bro. Like, cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Uh, but I do think that this Aquaman 2 is going to be... Um, it's going to be a really fun, good movie. And whether or not it flops 
or, or is a billion dollar hit i don't think it's gonna make a billion dollars uh, it could flop either way it doesn't really matter all i care about is whether or not i have a great time in the theaters watching this movie and you can, you can bet your ass i'm gonna watch this shit in imax probably a couple times because i saw the first aquaman film three times in imax and it was glorious so that's gonna be it make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe follow me on twitter instagram discord you see that cheeks let me know in the comments down below what do you think of aquaman and the lost kingdom i think it's gonna be a fun time in the theaters and i hope uh you know this this aquaman film really ends the dceu uh the right way because the dceu has been utter oh it's just been a travesty <laughs> Mwah! truth out he don't got a clue in the fucking world <laughs> good luck